In the history of the NBA, there have been thousands of triple-doubles, and there will continue to be many more. In NBA history, only four players have ever achieved the illustrious quadruple-double, and the most recent one was nearly three decades ago. Accomplishing that feat is historic and remarkable enough in itself, but then there's the quintuple-double, a feat so absurdly difficult to achieve that it seems utterly impossible outside the realm of video games. In the history of the NBA, no one has ever officially recorded a quintuple double. Emphasis on officially. Because on March 18, 1968, in a 30-point victory over the Los Angeles Lakers, Wilt Chamberlain led his Philadelphia 76ers with apparently 53 points, 32 rebounds, 14 assists, 11 steals, and 24 blocks on 82.8% .8 shooting. Needless to say, that's insane. Before you guys discredit his competition, Wilt played this game up against the Lakers starting center, Mel Counts, a pretty good player, a 7-footer, and a two-time champion. Now the stats that are highlighted green are indisputable. These are officially recorded statistics from this game. Anyone can look up the details online. Now the key here is the blocks and steals. Did those actually happen? Unfortunately, like almost all of Wilt Chamberlain's greatest performances, there is no available footage of this game, so there's no way to visibly verify whether or not these actually took place. But that takes us to the next part of the story, which very few people talk about concerning this game, and it's actually about someone other than Wilt Chamberlain. His name is Harvey Pollock. Harvey was an inspirational pioneer for NBA statisticians. He worked in the NBA for an incredible 69 seasons, which spanned from the very birth of the league until his death in 2015. Throughout his career, he had many jobs and purposes, including being the PR director for the Warriors, the writer for the Philadelphia Inquirer, the Associated Press, United Press International, and of course, he was a statistician. At one point, he had all of these jobs simultaneously. Harvey was an eyewitness to more basketball games than I will ever see, and among those were some of the most significant games in NBA history, including Wilt Chamberlain's 100-point game in 1962, which Harvey was responsible for accumulating the stats of, and he was the one who took the photo of Wilt's iconic moment. So that's cool and all, but what does Harvey have to do with Wilt Chamberlain's rumored quintuple double? Well, for those of you who didn't know, the NBA did not officially track blocks and steals until the 1973-74 season, which means many triple-doubles were missed, and any quadruple-doubles or even quintuple-doubles that may have occurred prior to 1974 were completely lost in the game's history. That's a real travesty when you consider the all-time great big men who played in that era, like Wilt Chamberlain, Bill Russell, Walt Bellamy, and Nate Thurman, just to name a few makes you wonder how many incredible performances flew completely under the radar as a result. Now here's the thing. As the Philadelphia reporter, Harvey Pollock recognized the value of things that went beyond the official stat sheet, and he was keeping track of shot distance, blocks, and steals way before it was an official stat. He had numerous reports and box scores that factored in these statistics. Unfortunately, he threw most of them away, seeing that they seemed insignificant at the time since they were not yet recognized as official stats. Fortunately, some have been preserved, and among those 112 games, Wilt averaged about 8.8 .8 blocks per game. I'll post a link to those stats in the video's description. Harvey was the one who did in fact keep track of Wilt's rumored quintuple-double game in 1968, and it was Harvey who said that Wilt put up 53 points, 32 rebounds, 14 assists, 11 steals, and 24 blocks. Now this isn't just some random person saying that Wilt Chamberlain did this. This was Harvey Pollock a respected statistician who worked in the NBA for nearly as long as the average human lifespan. Now, since it wasn't officially recorded like stats are today, there certainly wasn't some procedures done, like there probably wasn't any verifying or double-checking of the statistics. So maybe he added an unnecessary rebound or two. Maybe he credited Wilt with a steal or two that should have gone to a teammate. Or heck, maybe he even missed some statistics that should have gone to Wilt. So it's possible that this stat line is somewhat off, but how off? How many accidental additions did Harvey have to make for this not to be the most ridiculous stat line you and I have ever seen? So in conclusion, I personally believe this actually happened. I can't objectively prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it did in fact happen, but based on the information, I believe there's more reason to believe it did happen than it didn't. This brings me to my last point. Sometimes people get on my case for how great I believe Wilt was, but consider the fact that almost the entirety of Wilt's greatness and legacy is captured only in text and stories and not on film. 
we have less than 1% of Wilt's career available for us to witness on footage. That's just a fraction of his career. Now imagine Michael Jordan's career in hindsight if we had less than 1% of his highlights on film. His 63 in Boston Garden? Gone. His iconic hand switch layup? Gone. The shrug game? Gone. The flu game? Gone as well. Almost all of his iconic moments and long-lasting memories would be wiped from history. And now his highlight reel would look significantly less impressive, and with those memories and images gone, he appears as simply really nice statistics and accolades, which some then draw the conclusion was just a byproduct of his era. Maybe that even becomes the catalyst for people to say that Michael Jordan was overrated. These are the disadvantages that Wilt Chamberlain has working against him and his legacy. So hopefully, if there's one thing this video accomplished, it's that it gave some of you a greater appreciation for one of the legends of the game. Let me know in the comments section where you rank Wilt Chamberlain on your all-time list. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.